over 3 million national identity numbers of Nigerians have been stolen after a hacker known only as Sam broke into the server of the National Identity Management Commission, revealing how easy it was for him to breach the NIMC server and access personal information of millions of Nigerians in an article he shared on infosecrightsops.com. The hacker boasted that he got access to Jews on the Nigerian government agency's server and that he could go ahead to do whatever he desired with other sensitive data at his disposal. Displaying a defaced national identity card of a Nigerian alongside the article, the hacker said, I have got one more output for S3 buckets. I casually tried to access it without any hope and damned. The S3 bucket is full of juice. I just simply got access to their Nigeria data of internal files, users and everything they have. I can download, download everything, even the old bucket. I am sure that the bucket is full of juice. I wanted to look at some files, but as we have to follow bug bounty rules, I stopped doing more. I've got one more S3 bucket with nuclear and it also contains about 4 to 5 gigs of data. I've rewarded $5,250 for only one report and $0 for the second one. Even it contains so much sensitive data, the hacker wrote in the article that has continued to generate reactions from some Nigerians on Twitter, especially tech enthusiasts. A user of the microblogging platform with the handle at ECDAX while reacting to the development said, I'm shocked Nigerians are shocked. Seems you people don't know the government and country you are involved with. Okay, another user known known as a at a Bolu SS while commenting said jokes aside, this is enough reason for Buhari to sack Pantami. Hmm. It was only a matter of time before this happened. Nigeria's information security is ridiculously lax, so careless with sensitive data. This is exactly why I never wanted to do the NIN registration, delay it as long as I could. Uh, somebody should tell Sheikh Pantami that the motive or the most sensitive data of Nigerians under his care have been compromised and floating in the wide. The hacking of the NIMS server, NIMC server, has not only exposed Nigeria's weak cyber security, but also highlighted the danger the country's residents and investments were currently under. The latest cyber attack comes less than two months after the Nigeria Communications Commission in November 2021 issued a warning that an Iranian hacking group was planning to carry out cyber espionage, espionage across Africa. A statement from the agency had further disclosed that the hackers were targeting telecoms, internet service providers, and ministries of foreign affairs in Nigeria and other African countries. The incident also comes months after the President Muhammadu Buhari administration while mandating Nigerians to enroll for national identification number claimed that it was going to stop crimes in the country, including those perpetrated via the internet. Speaking during the launch of the National Policy for the Promotion of Indigenous Content in Nigeria, Telecom Sector and Revised National Identity Policy for SIM card registration in May 2021, President Buhari said, the NIN will cover one of the weaknesses in our security structure. We will be able to easily identify and know the personality of Nigerians. We identify people easily, including the crooks. Assuring Nigerians of how vital the new system would be to crime fighting in the country. Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Issa Pantami, in June 2021, claimed that incidents of terror such as banditry and kidnapping in the country had significantly reduced as a result of the insistence by government for persons in Nigeria to register for NIN. Pantami went further to say that the improved database will protect Nigerians from more than ever before. But despite those assurances, the latest attack has exposed the failure 
of the President Buhari administration to protect Nigerians from cyber crime criminals. Over 60 million Nigerians had so far been captured on the national identity database, according to the NIMC. Hmm. Can you imagine? Some people are so reluctant. And I think this is the reason why they've been postponing and postponing and postponing because they, they know that a lot of things are not really working or adding up. And also, with all the assurances that say, oh, it's going to curb crimes and what have you, we know where kidnapping and those who have been calling the victims, the family of the victims, they've kidnapped, they've been calling them with force. And yes, this whole thing is escalating every day. It's even... That statement made by Pantami that it will reduce or it has reduced is a lie. I think he's speaking for the, the opposite is what has happened. The insecurity has increased significantly, not reduced. They are just deceiving themselves. Honestly, they are deceiving themselves. You can imagine. You can imagine. Hmm. Honorably, Honorable Minister of Digital and Communication is recent honored as professor in his discipline he assured nigerians that we are saved under his watch what is happening it seems they are playing boju boju with a country of 200 million millions of by population i feel like i was dreaming almost entirely my living in nigeria everything that shouldn't in one way or the other happen in real life it happens easily in nigeria may god give us or uh, forgive us lies not them them they start they have started rigging election that is to that is to come in 2023 hmm. this is nigeria for you and nigeria to save lives pantami is a professor of cyber security he has been working very hard we should give him kudos i refuse to believe this news this is fake news really okoro kokoro ko okay well, this nigeria self eh? the more you look ominously the less you see the more things change, the more they stay same. Let us just unanimously agree to end this relationship that is not working. We are tired. If true, I do not think it is the job of any hacker. We all know Pantami's story and those he openly supported for years. He said he has changed, but he may be working for them. There is possibility. Now, with the national ID, anyone who have access can know everything about you. I thank God I have never linked mine because I know that it's present, this present government is full of quack people. Are they really serious with their job? It's true. They are not serious. What do you expect when a terrorist linked Issa Pantami is the Minister of Communication? In fact, I'm not surprised because more worse than this is about to happen. So guys, let's hear your opinion and know your thoughts on this. Thank you.